Alright, ready for your audition? Alright, group call. Go get him, girl. Alright, you got this. I got the shaking. Too. All you all you need, if anything goes wrong, just look to me. I'll be there. I got you. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna even walk with you. No. Keep it going. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Anna. Anna Hi. Dinning. How old are you, Anna? I'm 20 years old. And what do you do for a living? I don't have a job right now, but that has to do with my situation and stuff, so. What's your situation? I suffer from anxiety and depression disorder, so um, about like two or three months ago, I was bedridden and I hadn't left my house in a couple months. When I was 14, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. I suffered from a lot of panic attacks. I, you know, I couldn't leave my house most days. I couldn't leave my room. I couldn't get out of bed. It felt like my mind had given up on me. I just, I didn't, I didn't see a future. I, I just didn't want to be here anymore. And you start to, you know, question your ability as a parent. You can't do anything. You can't make it better. To see my little girl. <sighs> With therapy, I became better. And then about four months ago is when it hit me the hardest it's ever hit me before. I just, I felt so bad about myself. I didn't, I didn't like who I was. I, I didn't know how to bring myself out of it. And We felt helpless. We didn't know which way to turn and nothing was working. And music found her. Being here today is incredible. I remember I couldn't step out of bed. I didn't want to face the world, and now I'm facing thousands of people. It's going to mean the world to me to see her out there and what it will do for her. You know, personally, I also have an anxiety disorder. I suffer from OCD. People don't really know what it takes and how much suffering it is. For you to even show up today is so amazing. Yeah. There isn't anybody alive that at some time doesn't need help in coping. And the world is here for you, and I just want to hear what you have to offer us. So just play and pretend like you're alone in your room and nobody's watching. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. We love you.
How great is that? Man, I'm gonna go. Like good. And everybody's here for you. And everybody loves you. How about it? That was amazing. I have a question, and it's amazing. I'm telling you that I deal with what you deal with. How did you get the courage to do what you did today? My parents, of course. Life is filled with peaks and valleys. Oh, yeah. You have seen and experienced a lot of valleys. Tonight, young lady, you are on a peak. Well, you have a really interesting voice. Very different and very emotional. I could see it meant a lot to you. First of all, I would like to thank you for sharing your story with us. I know it's not easy, and I really, really enjoyed it. I think you're a great singer. Thank you. Howard. Hands down, the most emotional, got me to feel the most. And, and I'm putting your story aside for a second. I'm talking about just how you sing. The emotion that you were feeling, you were able to take it, put it into your voice, and make me feel something. Thank you. Good for you getting out on that stage. It's hard. So we should vote. Sure. I say yes. Mel? Hands down, a definite yes from me. Heidi? You have many new fans, and I'm one of them. For me, it's a yes. And Howard? You're the first singer to come out here and give me the chills, and I'm going to tell you something. You've got it. We can't wait to see you again. 